All right, so before we go on with, with editing these figures or, or doing anything, we probably want to do our, our traverse adjustment, and then we want to rotate this site to its new location. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do the traverse loop. So on my survey tab, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and create a new traverse. If you look at my control points, you can see that I only have control point number one. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to uh, right click on this traverse here and I'm going to select new. Now I'm just going to call it loop one. I could give it a description. I'm going to start at station one and you can see here that it knows because of the way that my survey was collected and the way it was imported that um, my initial backside was six and I went through two through six and I closed back on one. All right, so I'm good with that. I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to right click on this and I am going to go into Traverse Analysis. So I'm right clicking on the loop, going into Traverse Analysis. Inside of here, I can choose what type of analysis I want. Compass, Crandall, Transit. All right. um, the first time through, I'm going to choose not to update the survey database. I just want to see what my raw generic closure is going to be. So I'm going to click OK. I've got my tolerances that were set there. It's going to go through and it's going to create these four ASCII files. The first one will be your vertical adjustment. So if I look at this, I can see what my raw uh, closures were. All right, so if it does a length weighted uh, distributed rule, you can see my deltas in not too bad vertically. So I'm pretty good with that. So I'm just going to close that uh, box. This here shows your raw traverse coordinates. Um, if I shrink this down a little bit and zoom up, you can see the area and all the bearings and distances. So I can close that one as well. Here, you can see you're looking at the uh, balanced angles. So if I take a look at this, you can see it's my raw traverse, no rule, balanced angles. And if I look down, I can you can see my precision my total error, my angular error, my absolute error. So you can see pretty tight survey. Um, and in this case, maybe I don't need to adjust it. Uh, so I can go ahead and close this. Here is what it would look like if um, I did a raw closure. All right, so still you know, pretty happy with the results and I'm just gonna hit clo or close that as well. Now, that didn't update my network. And you can see if I look under control points, I still have control point number one being locked or being the only one that's locked. So if I do it again and just reprocess that traverse, select update survey database this time, it's gonna go and it's gonna update that. I'm gonna get the same four files. And again, I'm just gonna close these down, All right? Same information, but with this time, it updates the survey network for me. So it's going to adjust the network. Any points that were collected from that network will also get adjusted. So it says here, that one or more networks have been updated. Use the process line command to update the figures created by the line code uh, sets. All right, so I'm gonna click on close. I'm gonna go over to my uh, survey tab again, and I'm going to go to the survey points and select process line work. All right, so I'm doing it for all the points using my uh, codes, we're gonna click update is going to go through and it's going to update the network reprocess the line work because it moved the points and now it's got to reprocess the lines to that corrected coordinates okay you're not going to see a lot change because obviously it wasn't that big of an uh, adjustment but enough obviously if we're doing uh, a tight boundary so it's going to go through and reprocess re re-import all this data so again this step you want to do when you're done editing the field book file. Any edits you do after this stage would be will be done in the either the survey database directly or in the drawing uh, directly. Um, you want to make sure that you're not going back out and re-importing the field book file because if you re-import the field book file you will blow away all the all the points and the adjustments and all the references. So again your workflow here is very important to make sure that you have everything set and um, you know, defined before you uh, continue importing that field book file, okay? 
if you go out and import another field book file, let's say they go and they do a, a fifth day of survey, um, as long as you rem out the coordinates for the points and bring it in and use the points that are in the survey database, it'll be just fine. So it'll come into the right location, it'll work off the adjusted data, um, and you'll be good to go. All right, so my points, my figures, everything's been updated accordingly. 